Playgrounds and outdoor play are an essential component to any child care program. Getting fresh air and physical activity is critical for all kids. However, playgrounds and outdoor play can pose certain risks. It is our job as child care staff members to mitigate those risks and ensure all kids are safe while having fun. Playground safety rule number one, no roughhousing on any equipment. Children should never roughhouse, push, or pull other children while on playground equipment, such as slides, structures, swings, seesaws, jungle gyms, ropes, and other equipment. As a child care provider, you will need to watch out for these behaviors. Many times the rough housing is mutual or part of a game the children created. The children may be enjoying themselves, but you will need to intervene swiftly and redirect the children. Playground safety rule number two. Always go down slides feet first and make sure the slide is clear of any other children. Many children will attempt to climb up slides, jump off the sides of slides, climb on the sides of the slides, go down head first, lie down backwards, and the list goes on. Children may not be aware of other kids at the bottom of the slide and could collide with them. As a child care provider, you will have to remain vigilant and stop any of these behaviors early on. Explain the risks associated with these behaviors and use an effective consequence plan if necessary. Playground safety rule number three, never tie any ropes, hula hoops, string, clothes, other toys onto playground equipment. This is an entanglement hazard. Kids love to be creative and play pretend. They will tie ropes to playground equipment or hang hula hoops from equipment. Although they may be having a lot of fun doing so, these are all entanglement hazards. Strangulation is the leading cause of playground-related fatalities. Long untied shoelaces, long drawstrings, fabric fringe hanging off of clothing, necklaces, scarves, oversized clothing, hoodies, flip-flops, backpacks, purses are considered entanglement hazards. Children could trip or become entangled in equipment. Ensure kids leave these items off of playground equipment and make rules regarding appropriate clothing clear. Ensure kids are not tying or hanging anything off of playground equipment. Playground safety rule number four, never use playground equipment that is wet. This is a slipping hazard. Childcare providers need to be making sure the playground equipment is dry before children are allowed to play on it. If equipment is wet, there is a high chance children will slip while playing as these surfaces can get quite slick. Plan an alternate activity for the children or designate a safe area for the children to play on. Playground safety rule number five. When mounting or dismounting equipment, make sure nobody is in the way. This can be a difficult rule guideline to enforce as children can struggle to be aware of their surroundings. As a child care provider, you will have to have conversations with children regarding awareness and communication well before they set foot on a playground under your care. You will have to remind them to watch out for other kids playing near them if they're on a swing, on climbing equipment, or the slides. Be extra careful on tall climbing equipment. It is important kids wait their turn before attempting to climb too.